Good morning, everybody. We are here. We are ready to go. It is. It's 49 degrees and cloudy outside today, guys. 49 degrees already is not bad. We've got Dark Bro F I R S T first in the chat, baby. Nick F, good morning to you. Dark Bro Whit Reed, how you doing? Outdoor Smile. Dark Bro Frank, Outdoor Smile. MDW, Outdoor Smile. MDW, Mr. Brian, we've got Dark Bro J Bones, Outdoor Smile. J Bones, F I R S T. Samanino, what's going on, man? Mr. Palomino. Samanino. We got J Bones, uh, Palomino, J Bones, Palomino, Dark Bro J Bones, Palomino, Palomino. Outdoor Smile, Dark Bro Whit Reed, Outdoor Smile, Palomino, Kennedy, D Gordon, how you doing, man? Outdoor Smile, Sky Stone of Fire, Slayer JC, Slayer JC, don't be so salty we get j bones tony d dark bro and outdoor smile look at that bro jacket this bro jackie talking about this one what's going on outdoor smile ryan bro clay what's going on ryan slayer jc how's it going just making breakfast there you go dark bro i like it man what are you having bacon and eggs today what do we got dark bro patrick thank you very much for the super chat dark bro dilly dilly to you my silly little friend thank you very much patrick For the super chat, absolutely love it. Ryan, I thank you very much, Ryan. Ryan, I thank you very much for the super chat. He's coming in here after a few days MIA. Ryan, where have you been the last couple of days? We need to know. Because you weren't here with the family, Ryan. You weren't here with the family and we got scared. We got scared that you weren't going to be coming back. Oh my goodness, Ryan. Patrick, there's your super chat. I like it, man. Ryan, thank you very much as well. Ryan's name's going to go up there in a second. Looking at that. Perfect. Let's check the market out, guys, because we have got a federal interest rate, a Federal Reserve interest rate decision coming out later today, and it is going to be a doozy. We've got AEMC sitting at $4.55 right now, oh, 3.35% on the day. Shiba Inu coin sitting at 1,100 points per coin, very nice. GameStop sitting at 24.30 right now, 38% higher on the day. Soaring on yesterday's earnings report. Touching 50 plus percent gains. It was like 55 percent gains up here. And bouncing back a little bit, finding support in this 23 to 24 dollar area. So definitely keep your eyes on that. This level right here is support. We're gonna watch it. And um, Bitcoin down here in the bottom left, sitting at twenty-eight thousand six hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Bitcoin touching twenty-eight thousand eight hundred and seventeen dollars. Bitcoin going to listen. I don't know what the Federal Reserve is going to do today. But if it kicks Bitcoin up through that 29, we are going to be touching 30. So we've got some wild, wild action taking place right now. The NASDAQ is sitting kind of steady leading up to the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. 11,880 points on the NASDAQ. GameStop, $24.36. Pure Therapeutics, $2.78. 76 cents, sorry. 4.55 on AMC. Ethereum, 18.11. Shiba, 10.98. Dogecoin, 7.777. Uh, that's a jackpot number right there, man. Bitcoin sitting at 28,678. Sundial, $1.57. Mullen Auto, 12.75 cents. Guys, Mullen Auto is downtown. Downtown CEI sitting at a dollar thirty-two. The spy three hundred and ninety-eight dollars. BBIG thirty-four and a half cents. Highcraft mining thirty-six cents. Netflix three hundred dollars. QQQ three eleven. QQQ is actually doing pretty well today. Uh, and Ape sitting at a dollar forty-five at the moment, guys. Stocks are red. Crypto is green ahead of the Federal Federal Reserve interest rate decision. Who's having sausage and eggs with no oh, sausage and eggs with no eggs for breakfast? That would be sausage, Simon. That would be sausage. Let's be on fetch. They're gonna pick it up five hundred mil. Is fetch the AI coin? Let's see if I have seen fetch before. Yeah. Are you talking about Fetch AI or are you talking about Fetch? Well, dude, I think you're talking about the other Fetch. Because if you're buying 500 million Fetch AI, you got a lot of money, Dark Bro. You got a lot of money, my friend. I believe, though, you're probably talking about this Fetch. There you That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Wow. Um, all right, man. I don't know what these guys do. If very, 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 very low market cap, right? Um, if these guys can market themselves, I mean, I like their, I like their logo because it plays along with the Shiba Inu coin stuff, and it's got the red logo on coin market cap there. No idea what they do, but. 
if they're trying to build on Shibarium and if they can gain some traction in the Shiba Inu coin community, yeah, you're probably going to see some... Yeah, so they are going to be on Shibarium, or at least they're going to try and be on Shibarium. Yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, look, if they can get themselves some traction in the Shiba Inu coin community, I'd say you're good to go. But, uh, yeah, you know, very, very low market cap. I don't think they've been out for a while. Literally came out last week, it looks like. Um, yeah, I, it's just uh, risky because they are so small. But I'm telling you right now, man, if they can gain some traction in the Shiba community, you're going to be making some money there. Kai! Thank you very much for the member chat. Hi, all. What is going on, Kai? Hi, Kai. I like it. Kai, man, thank you very much for being a member. Love that green name right there. And Patrick says, Tis a recession, my lord. Ham no burger, but always. <laughs> Ham no burger, but always. Some authorized hydration. Thank you very much, Pat. For the super chat. Absolutely love it, man. Thank you very much for that and the authorized hydration. Coming to class, uh, Billy, always going to class, man. Bold, sleigh bro, bold, outdoor smile. You like it, I think? I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know. Some guy, not today. Blade, no no class today. Come on, Blade, you got to go to class, man. Uh, congrats, Kai. Yes, man. Kai, thank you very much for keeping that green name a whole month. I like it. Butter no peanuts. What does that even mean, man? Just a peanut? What is going on? Much love. Ginger Snaps, what's happening? Uh, fire in the bowl. Fire in the bowl. Isn't it fire in the hole? Like, what is going on right now? Oh, I cross over Shiba Inu from a thumb drive to Shiba Swap. I, I, I don't know. Are you talking about how do you move your Shiba Inu coin from a ledger over to a Shiba Swap wallet address? Is that, is that what you're talking about? Like how how do you stake on Shiba Swap with your with your coins? I'm not a hundred percent sure I understand the question, but I think that's what the question means right there. Oh, uh, what is class talking about, Billy? Billy, what's class going on today? What do we got? The only part that worries me is the header warning stating they can stop selling it, which is why I only want the five hundred million. Yeah, dude, I would be concerned about any any header like that. I mean, anytime a coin has control of the, the contract, you have to be concerned about it, man. You really do. It's hump day, baby. It is Wednesday, Shredda. Clear, bro, if I am not wrong, and next week, Shiba Inu coin is going to rule the crypto markets. Kennedy? Well, I hope you're not wrong, dude, but, you know, you could be wrong. Let's take a look at the market right now, guys. GameStop falling back down a little bit. GameStop sitting at $24.15. Bouncing on this level of support right here. AMC sitting at $4.52. Shiba Inu coin, $10.97. A Bitcoin, $28,655 right now. It is going to be an interesting afternoon. Look, I don't know if you guys are trying to play it a little bit more conservatively today. Just sit on the sidelines and whatnot. But I imagine that the Federal Reserve is going to have their work cut out for them today with this interest rate decision. Now, banks are doing okay ahead of this decision. We've got FRC. Let's look at that one. Uh, FRC having a pretty bad pre -mar uh, after hours and pre-market and coming back down right to this $15 mark. Coming up to 1676 this morning, but really loving this channel right here. Really loving this channel between 15 and 1575. So FRC kind of just sitting here in limbo, awaiting the Federal Reserve announcement. Uh, CS Credit Suisse sitting right here, coming back down a little bit. Volatile morning, guys. Volatile morning on Credit Suisse here. Bouncing back down a little bit right now, sitting at 92.35 cents. Western Alliance is another volatile bank recently. It is up 3% today, actually doing pretty well since the open here, sitting at a 3.5% gain. So banks kind of sitting steady, waiting for the Federal Reserve to um, basically stick the dagger in, twist it. And that was Big Clay the entire time. Very sorry about that. Uh, but it's going to be a tough one. I have $50 on my thumb drive. MDW, you are talking about the uh, like a ledger, right? Uh, anyone see that giant penguin? It's too dang hot for that penguin to be walking around here. Billy Madison. Now that one, I know. Nice, J-Bones. Nice. 
Uh, sorry, should I got a black really because I don't like beating up personal. Oh man, sky stonify. What is should is oh it's just a like button, isn't it? Isn't isn't the picture just a like button? Not exactly sure. I thought it was just a like button. What time does the Fed speak today? Don't be so salty. The interest rate decision is going to be announced at 2 p.m. Eastern time. That is an hour and 50 minutes from now. And then the press conference when Jerome Powell takes the stage and talks. That is 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. So we've got about an hour and 50 minutes to two hours and 20 minutes before both of those things take place there. So roughly two hours, man. We should use Powell's speech and say crypto is the now and future outdoor smart. Where did Outdoor Smile? Oh, there it is, man. Outdoor Smile. Thank you very much for the super chat. Acquired a few old laptops. How do I look for Bitcoin? Outdoor Smile. You know what? I've actually never, I've never done that. I've, I've never looked for it. But they would be saved somewhere on the hard drive. So I would, uh, best thing I could do is, is just say to to go look up another YouTube video on how to do that. But they would be saved somewhere on the hard drive as, as people were basically using those downloadable wallets way back then. So I would look for, I would actually watch a video because I, I don't know how to, to find it on, um, on an old laptop. But wallets usually save to the hard drive and dude if you if you oh man that would be like hitting the lottery for sure even if you just found a half a bitcoin man my goodness so let us know if it, dude it's got to be super simple to do it you, you probably just go click on your computer you know go open up the the different programs but i don't know what you would technically have to search for on there i don't know what it would be saved under and i don't know what it would be named so you'd have to, to look at that specifically because I don't know what the naming would be there. Oh, uh, let's see. This little Subaru try taking out my Dirty Max 66 LBZ rolling cool, Mr. Brian. Mm, I, is that good? Is that bad? Did you let the Subaru go, man? Did you hold him accountable? What's happening? Hope Jasmine goes back up to $14. Ginger snaps. I don't think Jasmine's going to go back that high simply based on the amount of coins that are outstanding now. But I do hope that it goes up for you. Hood class diesel mechanic. Gotcha, Blade Davis. Very nice. Congratulations on that. You definitely are going to know more about any of that stuff than I do, even after one class. And um, hopefully class is good today, Blade. Uh, let's see. Forget it. Got to get back to work. MDW. Enjoy your work, dude. Um, but basically, if you have it on a ledger, all you're going to do is go in and send it to another wallet address. Okay? All you're going to do is go send it to another wallet address. If you want to actually stake it on Shibarium or on uh, ShibaSwap, you're, you're going to need to stake it on ShibaSwap then. It's not something like you just send it to your automatic wallet that, that is staking it. You're going to have to connect your wallet address to ShibaSwap. So you, you'd have to basically send it to a MetaMask wallet, connect your MetaMask wallet to ShibaSwap, and um, then stake it there if, if that's what you're intending to do. Have you talked about the million dollar bet about Bitcoin going to a million dollars by June 17th? Kai, so no, I haven't talked about that, but I, I have seen that out on Twitter. Um, I forget who it, it God, I, now I forget the guy's name. But yeah, he basically said, in three months, Bitcoin, we, we are going to enter hyperinflation. Okay, And he gave somebody like 40 to 1 odds or something, um, saying buy Bitcoin. You put up a Bitcoin, he puts up a million dollars or something, that we enter hyperinflation by the three-month date or the 90 days from whenever he said that, which I assume was March 17th then, since you just said June 17th. So... Now, I don't know if if that bet is legitimate or not. I don't know if anybody brokered that bet. I don't know if anybody's holding money in escrow for that bet. And I don't know if, if they're going to hold true on that bet. What I do know is that's a crazy bet. I mean, somebody was probably better off buying a Bitcoin and, and taking those odds. I really don't know if we're going to enter hyperinflation, man. Somebody was, somebody, somebody was probably really well if they actually took that bet. 
Ha uh, ha, let's see. 14 cents. I'm sorry. Change just snaps. No, you're good. 14 cents. Let's see where Jasmine's at right now. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. All right, Jasmine sitting here at a $232 million market cap right now. Jasmine going back up to 14 cents would be a three, 30x gain. 30x gain is going to take it to two, six billion. Six billion dollar market cap, not impossible, okay? Easy? No. Bull market required? Absolutely. The all-time high is about a $1.3 billion market cap. So you basically have to 5x the all-time high on Jasmine in order to get there. And, and I think that it could do it during the next bull market. I, I don't think that that's impossible. I don't think it's impossible for Bitcoin to 5x its all-time high. I don't think it's impossible for all these other altcoins to 5x their all-time high. I don't think it's impossible for the cryptocurrency market to be sitting on 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 trillion dollar market caps over the next, I don't know, decade or so as the next bull market and maybe the next couple bull markets take place and very sorry i promise you that i was on jasmine i promise you i was looking at it it's right here you guys can see it yes i did pull it up i did look at it i was not just making all that stuff up i just didn't click the button so you could see let's see uh, the better is either a genius, is either insane or a scheming genius. If he can hype the coin for a major pump, then he profits even if he loses the bet. Kai, yes. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that, though. I don't know if he's going to be able to manipulate the price of Bitcoin up enough to where he would be able to profit more than a million dollars if he loses it. Of course, that depends on how much money he's got invested in, in Bitcoin there. Dark Bro! Thank you very much for the super chat. Turn the sound up so we can get some of that. Happy birthday to the bro next level. Here's an upside down. No, dude, we can't do it upside down, King Turkey. I will give you both, but I can't do it upside down. Dark Bro, thank you very much for the super chat. <laughs> Thank you very much for the Super Jet Dark Bro. Absolutely appreciate that. And we got a little. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really can't do that upside down, man. My throat is already stretched out enough when I'm upside down. It does not work upside down. Like, I, I can't even make a noise. I can barely breathe when I go upside down like that. Next level, man. Is today your birthday? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear next level, happy birthday to you, next level, man, happy birthday, thank you very much for being in here, man, hopefully, Jerome Powell doesn't ruin your birthday by announcing something insane, like a 50 basis point interest rate hike, and destroys the market, so, Here's the next level, having a, an amazing birthday. Come on, Clay, put some effort into it. Oh, Dark Bro, I'm telling you right now, dude, I could already feel it when I was going like that. Oh, it wouldn't do it, man. There's no way that it would do it. When Jasmine first came out, Coinbase was 12 and 14 cents. Now it's so low, so I bought some more. Ginger snaps, there you go. Yeah, you got to keep in mind, though, okay? The, the, the amount of coins outstanding has increased on Jasmine, which is one of the reasons that the price has gone down. So if it does go back to those old price highs, then it's it's going to be worth much, much more than it was when it was at those previous alt previous highs. Let's see. Mute before it's too late. Never mind. Too late. Guy, I like it. Don't warn these people to mute. They need to hear the King Turkey, my friend. Thanks, guys. Absolutely next level. My wife got accepted into nursing school today. She'll finish December of next year. We'll go from a single-income family to dual income. I'm not ready. I'm ready to not be, be bleeding cash each month. Don't be so salty. Congratulations. Dude, don't be so salty. If your wife's listening right now, I don't know if she is or not, but congratulations to you. Congratulations to her. That is absolutely awesome. School is not going to be easy, man. So you guys are going to have to buckle down. You're going to have to do it. It's going to take some work and it's going to take some effort on both your parts, man. But if you guys do that, if you succeed, absolutely congratulations on it. Don't stop even when things get hard, man. Just keep going. I like it. Don't be so salty. Tell her congratulations, dude. Everybody in here rooting for. You guys are going to do it, and it's going to be nice. Chup. 
He's cool, Billy. Yeah, 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 Billy. Calm down. It's all right, Billy. It's all right. We're hanging out, man. Oh, uh, let's see. Happy birthday. You are you are two pair of shoes old. <laughs> what? You made it to the fifth floor. How's the view? Shredder, man. Fifth floor. I like it. Happy birthday, bro. Heck yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. Change the snaps. Absolutely. That is one of the things that I had to learn about Jasmine, too, because the price has definitely declined, but the market cap has not declined. Congratulations. Don't be so salty. Heck yeah. Congrats to your wife. Don't be so salty. She's got this. Stop ignoring Fredo, aka Bro Clay. What happened is Bitcoin price and altcoins. There's a 25 base point increase in uh, the. Ryan, I did not ignore anything, man. You didn't even send that. Yeah, just scroll back up, man. You didn't even send that before. So I'm expecting a 25 basis point interest rate hike today because that's what consensus is at. Truly, I believe if if Jerome Powell announces anything higher, it's going to shock the banking system. Even though it, it would shock the banking system, it would shock the market, it might help inflation. But, dude, it, it would really, really put a major amount of stress on banks. 25 basis point is still going to put stress on banks and we may see banks continue to fall but the market is already expecting a 25 basis point interest rate hike so i think it is the safest approach to stay with the 25 basis point um i would imagine we don't see much of a shock but if banks continue to decline, I do think that Bitcoin could continue to go up and, and really be viewed as a hedge against inflation, as a safe alternative to fiat, as, as something that the people are interested in buying. If they come in at no change, which is also possible, I, I think that inflation concerns are going to increase again. And although people might get excited the interest rates are done rising, it could cause a lot of problems. Banks may go back up, but it could cause a lot of problems for inflation if they don't raise interest rates. Michael Allen! Michael, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Michael says, charts, banks. Stonks, apes, crypto, Lunk, Bitcoin, AMC, Shib, Clay's puffy hair. Only thing people care about is next level's birthday and fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, baby. Oh, yes, Michael, man. Thank you very much for the super chat and a lovely happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to your next level. Happy birthday to you. From Michael, of course. And we got another one from Patrick. Happy birthday, Outdoor Smile. What? Certainly earning your daily bread today, Clay. Um, I don't know if it's Outdoor Smile's birthday. Um, but happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Outdoor Smile for next January. And next level, because this is today. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much, Patrick, for the super chat. And of course, the authorized hydration. I love it, Pat. Oops, I meant happy birthday next level. Patrick, I got you, man. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear next level. Happy birthday to you. With some more authorized hydration. Everybody take a drink. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Next level, thank you very much for having a birthday. Appreciate all you guys, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. Must be zombie day. It is zombie day. If you know, if you guys sent through Streamlabs instead of zombie, you'd have super, you'd have Pika's, all of Pika's super stickers up there. But now nah, you prefer super chats. I get it. It's it's fine. I swear, Clay Bro is always upbeat and happy. I love it. Insert. You know. Uh, yeah. Not necessarily always, right? But you do have a choice. An attitude is an absolute choice that you have to... It's really the only thing that you can choose in your whole life, man, is how you... is your attitude. That's the only thing you really have control over. So you can have crap happen, but as long as you move forward, dude, and as long as you have a positive attitude, I mean, that's the best that you can do with it. Uh, 
uncontrollable circumstances will hit your life every single day but you can control your attitude, man. So that's what you got to work with. Uh, Chris Bout, 777. I know, dude. It's cringe for like the first like two or three times, but after that, you get used to it, and it's completely cool after the first two or three times, man. Wait until you see a banana, dude. Uh, how high can Cardano go by the end of 2025? Uh, back to all-time highs for sure. So what, $3 or so? But depending on, on what this next bull market brings, could go even higher. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to your next level. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat. And we know next level loves a little Clay Bros Peach. Mm -mm 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 Yes, Batman. Thank you very much for that super chat. Absolutely love it, dude. Had to make it official. Not enough coffee today. There you go. Bubba's about to get on, Blade. Bubba's about to get what now? Happy Smurf Day. Next level. Heck yeah. What is Smurf Day? It's like a birthday, maybe. So this is my depression. Ginger snaps. Well, uh, yes. Uh, I, you know what? Ginger snaps. Let me say this. You should tell that to your depression. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. And, like, I know that that is something that people struggle with. I really do. But I, I can't control it. I can't control your sentiment, your attitude, and so on. And you might feel like you can't. But I'm going to tell you right now, I have bad days. I really do. There's a lot of stuff in life that doesn't always go the way you want. And I understand if there is some sort of an imbalance of things that, that does lead to depression. But I truly believe attitude and an emotion is something that you do have to push through sometimes and, and even if you struggle with being able to push through because of things like depression and, and things like that you have to make a choice to to continue on and want to see better so some days you got to tell yourself out loud and if those are bad days for you you've got to tell yourself out loud and you've got to make it uh, you know an absolute priority that no matter the way you feel right now, no matter how hard life seems, you do have to push forward. And, and I don't know the, the right answer for people who struggle with things like depression. I, I completely understand that it does seem like it's out of your control. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's not out of your control to say, even though I feel like crap, even though I feel terrible, you know, I, I, I do want to see the best in this situation. And uh, maybe you don't, maybe you can't, but you are trying. So I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not trying to make light of the situation or anything and, and make it seem like it's just that easy, but it really is. Um, it, it's a decision you do have to make. Dark bro. Oh yeah, seven seven seven. Here's the banana you were looking for. You peel that banana, you tilt the head back a little bit, you lick it, and you stick it. Dark bro, thank you very much for the banana and roulette wheel. Thank you very much for the super chat. Roulette wheel says, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mr. Happy birthday to you. Roulette wheel, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. I'm assuming that was the next level, but we're going to have to figure it out, man. And it was on XRP. Crypto King was trying to say the CEO hinted at a win. Uh, look, I, I actually don't have any news on XRP. We can kind of see where XRP is at right now. But yeah, you're always going to get some optimistic quotes from CEOs, right? Adam Aaron is a CEO that always hints towards optimism, right? And uh, it's actually down roughly 20% from where it was yesterday, guys. Touching 50 cents a coin, back down to 44 cents a coin right now. 43.7 cents a coin. So it is down nearly 20% from where it was yesterday. That's a pretty big move back down to the downside and did hit exactly that level we were talking about. You guys remember this level of resistance in here at 50 cents that we discussed yesterday. That is where it tapped and then pulled back down to where it's at right now at this 44 cent mark. So definitely something to consider there, but I do not know why it was running. I do not know why it's pulling 
uh, it's probably pulling back right now because of profit taking and the resistance level. But I don't know what was driving those gains uh, yesterday, the way that we were seeing those. I needed those words right now. Emilio Ramirez, I think Gunch. Look, dude, good. You know, it, it is true, though. And I, like I say, I'm, I'm really not trying to oversimplify things. But, dude, life is just its a stream together of days, man. Good days, bad days, uh, every day in between. And you really, that's, that's all you got control of, man, is you and your attitude. You can have crap happen to you every single day. But it's, you're the one that decides how you react to it. Scared money makes no money, Blade Davis. That is true. But sometimes s scared money it doesn't lose money. And, uh, and not scared money sometimes can lose a lot of money. So sometimes scared money is a little bit better <laughs> than not scared money. Brooklyn, aka Fredo, watch the Godfather Michael Corleone videos. Let's see your best impression. I have not watched the Michael Corleone videos just yet, Ryan. It's still something that I have to do. I have to find some time on a weekend where I can watch a movie for you. And then I will let you know my best Michael Corleone impression. Sorry, guys. Was driving, headed out. Wife buying me a new TV for my birthday. Thanks for all the love, you guys. Tim. Boom, baby. Next level. I like it. Dude, what are you going to get, man? Like an 85-inch Samsung? What, what kind of TV you get? We need to know, dude. Don't come in here with none of that 40-inch TV stuff. Outdoor smile. Come on, now. You go to Walmart and pick a 40-inch TV up for like 14 bucks. I want to know what kind of TV outdoor or outdoor smile. I want to know what kind of TV next level is getting here, man. He says get that 80 inch. Ooh, the 80 inch. Seven. There's a big difference in price between like a 75 inch and an 80 inch. And I don't know why, but there is a big difference in the price in those. Mm. And some people really don't even have the wall space for an 80 inch TV. Yeah, we need to know though next level. You better not be coming in here with any of that 40 inch stuff, man. Because unless you're putting it in your kitchen. My cats go in nuts when you do the turkey. Ginger snaps. The animals love the turkey. I'm telling you. Yo, Blade, Professor said. Finish chapters 27 to 29. Billy Duncan coming in hot with the class. <laughs> I like it. Billy, thanks for helping out Blade, man. Scott, XRP asked for disclosure of the SEC documents. The judge ruled in their favor to give them their legal team the documents. Nice. Tony D, thank you very much for letting us know that there's a slight win in uh, the XRP court case when it comes to disclosure of documents. We like that. Times the Fed announcement break out. Nate M, the announcement is 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's when we know whether interest rates are increasing, being held the same, or, or whatever they end up doing with them. And then 2.30 is when Jerome Powell takes the stage and bores us all into a slumber when he's got his Federal Reserve press conference. So 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time is the press conference. 2 p.m. Eastern Time is the announcement. Happy birthday, Clay. Hope everybody has a great day. Yes, it's outdoor. It's not outdoor smile. My gosh, Pat's got me all messed up. Now it's next level's birthday. Mr. Normus, what's going on? Like mama said, life is like a roll of toilet paper. No matter how hard you wipe, you always miss a spot. Right here. Nope, my mama never told me that, man. My mama never told. I will always hit every spot. Al Pacino. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Al Pacino. Al Pacino, man. Thank you very much for that super chat. That is just a. That is a good one. Al Pacino, thank you very much for that super chat. I love it right there. Al Pacino, the master, the king, the legend, the one who made Michael Corleone the greatest character in Hollywood history. Welcome, sir. <laughs> I like it. Oh, man. Ryan loves Al Pacino. I'm a U.S. bank right now, opening up an account. I hear U.S. bank is going to be helping international transactions with Swift, Mr. Bryant. Well, it is a possibility, man. I have not heard anything about U.S. Bank in a very long time. Mine's in April. Getting old over here. Ginger snaps. Mine's in May. We're going to have a lot of birthdays coming up here pretty soon, guys. Downgraded 55-inch when they shut down the drive-in theater next to me. Yeah, it happens, man. It happens. Could you really see the drive-in theater from your house? That would be sweet, dude. That's like if you could see the drive-in theater from your house, that would be cool. Okay, I'll uh, try to come back later today. Have a non-hectic day. Try to you as well, man.
You as well. Have a non-hectic day, dude. I like it. This guy's telling if I ditch that, use your phone. Something. The, uh, what are we ditching here? I got a five-inch pocket. <laughs> yeah, your phone might be better than that. When do I heights pixel get nuts? 2 p.m. Eastern time, Lonnie. 2 p.m. Eastern time. So I'll show you. I'll bring that up and show you guys real quick. So if you want to see, and if you want to figure out how you can see that, um, and, and usually see all of the economic releases or all of the discussions that affect Forex, stock markets, crypto markets, and so on, you can come out to the FX Street economic calendar. You can literally Google FX Street, and it'll probably autofill with, F, uh, with economic calendar after it. And you can either leave it on just U.S. or you can, you can filter by like all the countries that, that it has on there, and it's got a lot of them. But you can see here, 1,400 hours, which is 2 p.m. Eastern time. Federal Reserve's monetary policy statement right here at 2 p.m. This is when they're going to show, or the interest rate decision, sorry, it is when they're going to show whether or not it comes in at consensus at 5%, whether it comes into the previous level of 4.75%, or they surprise us. I mean, they could go 5.25, they could go, you know, whatever they wanted, technically. So uh, interest rate gets announced at 1,400 hours, 2 p.m. Eastern time. And then Federal Reserve press conference. Jerome Powell takes the stage at 1430, which is 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. So you got the, the 2.30 p.m. Eastern time, but we'll know the interest rates <clears throat> at 2 p.m. today. And that's one thing that you can, and that you can see there. And as you can see, man, you, you can literally scroll down and, and see all of the releases. Now... The, the red ones are the important releases. These yellow ones, like GDP in Spain. Does anybody really care about GDP in Spain? The answer is no. doesn't have a large impact on the U.S. economy. But, you know, when you've got the GDP in the Euro area, or in, the, in Germany, which is a much larger market, then, of course, yeah, you can see some... Well, this is Purchasing Managers Index. This is not GDP. Purchasing Managers Index. Right here. This is a large announcement. So durable goods orders on Friday. Large announcement. Capital goods orders on Friday. Large announcement. But today we are concerned about um, the interest rate decision. And then tomorrow morning, you've got the Bank of England interest rate decision. They are also expected to increase interest rates by 25 basis points. So Bank of England announcing tomorrow morning. And the Federal Reserve announcing this afternoon. So keep that in mind. Uh, 2 p.m. is going to be a very, very, very volatile day. That is my phone. Uh, Sky Stonify. Good. We thought you had a little TV with an antenna on it, man. You pull that out and you put it up there. Yeah. To your best Michael Corleone impression for old time's sake. For your bro, Michael, a.k.a. Ryan, the legendary Al Pacino. Ryan, I don't know what you've done to me. You're like a brother, Fredo, so I need you to sit down. I need you to sit down because everything you've done for me, Fredo, it's enough, but it's not enough. I'm going to ask you to go fishing with that Allen fellow. And when you go fishing with that Allen fellow, you might not come back, Fredo. <laughs> Is that a good one? Is that a good one, Ryan? I hope it's a good one. Hoover, bro, check out Evergrow. E-G-C, purple and white logo. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, going Powell Live or playing with Chip, bro. Uh, can I, can I do Powell live with Chipro? I, I, Chipro did jump up. He did not come in the house yesterday, but he did jump up on the patio door. So if I can get Chipro to, to get used to the house again, I'm going to be a very happy man. So technically I can't stream it if you guys want to watch it, but I may be playing with Chipro this afternoon. Uh, Evergrow is what we were coming down here. Uh, what is it? EGC. This dude, fine. I, I bet this coin's got like an $8 market cap. Yeah. Let's see. Whoa, $34 million market cap. Dark bro, going for the expensive stuff. Only $21,000 in volume today. That's actually pretty low. And on December 9, 2020, the Evergo data has now been fully corrected. Very nice. So data is looking good on that, I guess. Wow, beaten to death in price, though, guys. This price is extremely low. Market cap? Doesn't show the market cap. So I don't know how this plays out with token dilution. And I don't know where all of these zeros take you. But look at this bull market, man. $50 million a day being traded. 
during the bull market. $62 million on November 1st. These coins during the next bull market could absolutely explode. I mean, if you're sitting on five bucks here and five bucks there, and you see $60 million a day being traded, and all of a sudden your coin 200Xs, you made a grand on a $5 investment. So yeah, Dark Bro, man, I, I don't know if this coin will ever do anything. I don't know if it's going to rebound. I don't know if it's a good call or a bad call. But what I do know is when you expose yourself to potential, I mean, can you really go wrong with a dollar, $2, $5, $10? That's the kind of stuff that, that I have to ask myself, man. If it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't go anywhere. But if it does do something and it 100Xs and I've got 10 bucks in it and turn it into a grand, uh, that's pretty phenomenal. So, yeah, I don't know if EGC is going to do anything or not, but it definitely looks good. Mr. Al Pacino, we, we think alike, big brother. Shib is my highest holding. Hold north of 200 million Shiba. Very nice, Ryan. That's it. I'm going for a donut. Life is rough. Got to enjoy the small stuff. That you do, Sky Stone of Five. Put a mouse trap out there for Chip, bro. That way he won't leave you. I'm going to act like you did not say that, Kai. I'm going to act like you did not say that. The mouse traps that I have, though, are the ones that don't kill the mice. I take the mice down to the lake when I catch the mice. I actually think that Chipro is probably too big to fit in those mouse traps. I don't I think that he would I think he like I don't even think it would trap him. I think he's too big for it. So, I don't even know if it would do anything. But no, I'm not going to try and trap Chip Bro. If he wants to come in the house and hang out and sit on the couch with me, he can do that. Clay, greetings from the UK, everyone. Shro Carter, what's going on, man? Glad to have you in here. Waiting to see Lunk hit at least a penny. Beer to dead, beer company. If Terra Luna Classic hits a penny, I think we're all going to be doing phenomenal, man. Hoy, thought about what you said yesterday. Taking profits and holding in Bitcoin until the dollar goes back up in value is better than taking profits into a one-to-one -one back stablecoin. Oh, yes. Uh, Lonnie, all depending, right, on how Bitcoin is being viewed and how Bitcoin is being perceived. If, if it's a risk-off situation and Bitcoin is viewed as risky, it's a bad idea. If, if it's a risk-off situation and um, Bitcoin is viewed as, as an alternative, a stable alternative or a safe alternative, it's an excellent idea. So it, it does depend very much so on perspective and what people think about Bitcoin at the time. And on nowhere, what kind of laptop or computer strictly for trading I should try to get? I've been doing all on my phone is I'm new, only been involved in crypto for a little over a year. Al, man, you know, if you're only going for a laptop and you're not going to be hooking up like six monitors to it and you're not going to be, um, you know, playing any games or anything, you, you don't need much for trading, man. You really don't need much for trading. Uh, honestly, the only things that I would say, I'd probably stay away from Chromebooks. If you're going to get a laptop, get a laptop. Chromebook is basically a phone with a bigger screen or a tablet. So you don't need a ton of RAM. And now if you're on six different websites and, and you know, you're know you trying to run some Excel spreadsheets and stuff like that, then of course, it, you know, you're going to want to to get a little, little bit of a better one. But I mean, I really don't think that you need a, a terribly powerful laptop just to open up a Weeble account, just to go and, and attach some wallets to some DeFi websites and make some trades there. So what I'm basically saying is you don't have to spend a thousand bucks if you don't want to spend a thousand bucks. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Don't play with chip bros, peanuts, and K what is that, hazelnuts? You'll go blind. That is true, man. That is true, because he will probably claw my eyes out. I will not be playing with Chip Rose food. That is delicious, man. That is delicious. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely love it. And, uh, yeah, guys, don't play with your chipmunks food. It's not a good look. Tony D for $36. You can get $500 million. Nice, dude. That's actually a lot of coins. Ryan, don't be too hard on yourself, bro. All these anti-carb diets. Popular, but not necessarily the answer for everybody. That is true, man. Didn't, uh, didn't what's-his-face, Gensler, say Bitcoin is the only coin that is not a security. 
Yes, he did say that. But the White House issuing some statements, I believe, last night or yesterday that uh, cryptocurrency is not an alternative, a safe alternative to fiat. Cryptocurrency has no value associated to it. And crypto or Bitcoin has no intentions of transferring over to proof of stake. I don't. I really don't think that the White House understands Bitcoin. I, I really don't think that these. Gosh, dude, I really don't think that they do. And I was gonna try. I was gonna call them something mean. Like I get it. Old people don't really understand things, and you gotta explain it to them sometimes. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody young that works in the White House. I don't know if there's anybody intelligent that works in the White House, but when you see some really dumb statements like that, it, it, it makes you question whether you have that. Patrick, thank you very much for this super chat. And get, get Harry. Oh, never mind. Yes, Clay Bros Peach, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Patrick, man, thank you very much for the super chat. We got that, Clay Bros Peach. Clint Ryan, I'm going to go with all oh, with Dell. Thanks, bro. Boom, Al Pacino. I like it, man. Hey, bro, Dark, or hey, Dark Bro, should check out Frog. Yeah, I think Dark Bro did check out Frogs, right? Look, bro, looked at it after we talked. Very nice. Ira D, what's going on? I have about 20 coins on my watch list. Are you saying I should throw five to 10 bucks on each and then walk away? Did I hear that right? It was dry. So, Ira D, man, look, I, I can't tell you what to do, right? And I don't know which 20 are on your watch list. Um, if you're talking coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Cardano, Algorand, you know, big billion dollar coins, Polygon, things like that, uh, you know, I don't know if you should necessarily put five bucks, five, ten bucks on each one and, and just walk away. You can if you want a diverse portfolio. I don't think that you're going to 100x. On stuff like that. I, I, I truly believe that those larger coins will be around and, you know, that you can stand to, to invest a little bit more if you want to, right? I don't know if you're just talking your lottery ticket plays right now or not, but I think that those larger ones are going to be a little safer than, than the small ones. But yeah, if you if you've got twenty coins on your watch list, dude, like like Frog Coin and and Evergrow and Bitger B Rise or you know these coins that Dark Bro comes up with, Glowstone, and and these little tiny coins, the next bull market, if it's anything like the previous bull market. Yeah, you know, you stand the chance of watching these coins 20, 30, 40, 50x. And that's across the board. So you'd probably be better off at that point throwing 5, 10 bucks in each one. That 5, 10 bucks in each one maybe, you know, turns into 100, 200, 300 bucks in 15 of them. And maybe five of them miss. Maybe it turns into three, four, 500 bucks in two of them and then a couple of them it turns into a hundred bucks and then the rest just miss so, you, you know when you take a more diversified approach like that you'd probably be better off than hoping the one you pick and throw 200 bucks in it goes up 100 200 x and uh, it, you know the chances that it doesn't are greater than the chances that it does so diversifying between those lottery ticket plays is probably smarter than, you know, putting 200, 500, 1,000 bucks into a, a lottery ticket there. Uh, treat it like a lottery ticket. You're not going to go out on one lottery, on one ticket, on, you know, drop a grand and just hope that you win. Don't do it the same way in crypto. Buy a $5 ticket here, buy a $5 ticket there. I mean, whatever's reasonable for you, if you, if your tickets are $20 or $50, okay. But if, you're, if your tickets are a dollar, okay. Don't go drop your entire paycheck onto a lottery, lottery ticket play. Uh, what's up, brother? All the mech and breakers, how you doing, man? Well, no one believes the White House. That essentially tells everyone that crypto is a good buy. Outdoor smile. That it does, man. That it does. I'm telling you. And, and look, guys. It, honestly, it wouldn't matter who was in the White House. If, if any White House administration s s said something like, 
Bitcoin hasn't announced that it's moving over to proof of stake yet. Bitcoin is a proof of work coin, man. It, nobody is controlling Bitcoin. Nobody decides the future of Bitcoin, except for everybody that is currently mining Bitcoin. You know, it, it, when they show that they don't even understand the, the, the very, very basics of it, I'd be making fun of whoever it was at the White House. All American breakers! Thank you very much for the super chat. Do you believe Sheba will hit a penny? All American breakers, the only way that I see Shiba Inu coin hitting a penny is several years to decades down the road if Shibarium and all of these projects can burn trillions. I do not see... Um, I do not see Shiba Inu coin sporting a $7 trillion valuation. Uh, if we do not burn, I do not see a penny. But do I see Shiba Inu coin hitting $100 billion? Do I see Shiba Inu coin potentially hitting $200 billion? Absolutely. Do I see it surpassing things like Ethereum and Bitcoin, though? No, I do not. Um, you know, So burns have to happen. And a lot of people don't want to focus on burns. A lot of people only want to focus on utility or only focus on the ecosystem and stuff like that. But burns need to happen if your goal is a penny price point. So yes, although I do believe it can, I don't believe that it will unless, of course, those burns take place. So your question was, do I believe it will hit a penny? Not unless things change. So right now, if, if the path we're moving forward on right now, no, I don't think that we get there. I think that things need to change. Ask me again in six months if, if all of a sudden Shibarium's burning a ton and we've got projects competing and they're burning a ton of Shiba Inu coin. Uh, that path that we're then on, absolutely, I could say. So it, it really does all, it does depend on, you know, how many burns are taking place. Uh, let's see here. If crypto is so unsafe, no why are the clowns in the White House trying to create a U.S. coin? That one has value, bearded dad. That one has value. The other ones don't have value, but theirs does have value. Hopefully that explains it. <laughs> oh, Gosh, man, because they said so, all right, because they said so, let's see, if they don't get your brain straightened out, I think Shib is going to have a very tough time getting back to its all-time high, yeah, Dark Bro, it could, man, but, you know, I expect the next bull market to be stronger than the previous bull market, I do, I, I've got, uh, I'm optimistic about it. Five years top, Shibarium and other projects, one cent. Let's go. Chris, that's what I'm saying though, right? I'm not like, I'm not being pessimistic because I do believe your part of that statement needs to be true, right? Shibarium and other projects are required. They're going to be necessary to take it there. No more meme coins for me. The developers are all clowns. This guy's tonify. They usually are, man. They usually are. And you know what? That's okay. Meme coins and, and these lottery ticket plays are just that. Dude, if you're going out and throwing hundreds of dollars in it, it, it might be something that, that turns you sour. If you honestly take five bucks or whatever, if you want to have some fun on a Friday night, dude, instead of going out and, and uh, you know wasting your five bucks somewhere else, you can waste your five bucks in a meme coin. You can go out there and buy something that, hey, you know what? I'm going to check it in the morning. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it every morning. You know, just look at my wallet. Maybe one day something crazy will happen. If not, I don't really care about the the five dollars a week that I put into meme coins or the five dollars a week I put into lottery ticket plays. Maybe one day I wake up and I'm sitting on a thousand bucks. You know, it's that's fun. That's the fun aspect of it. And in the sense of a lottery ticket, you can buy a five dollar lottery ticket, and the moment you scratch it off. You're done. But these these lottery ticket coins, dude, you know, you got something to look at every morning when your alarm goes off, if you want, just to check it out and see what happens. There's always that tiny little excitement that something may have occurred. 
The White House is the neighbor that has the same car as you. What do they tell you that theirs is better? You're in deep. Theirs is definitely better. Theirs is always better, man. Yours sucks, and theirs is great. It, not only does yours suck, yours is bad. Yours is just, it is bad. It's bad for the economy. It's, it's bad for investors. It's bad for, well, it's bad for everything, man. Actually, let me phrase that. These developers need to understand they don't own SHIB and they cannot do it by themselves and let people build instead of crying FUD every three seconds. It really is annoying when you cry FUD every three seconds, isn't it? No rate hike, it surpasses 30,000. Ooh, Lonnie, that's possible, but let me ask you this, dude, because I truly believe that Jerome Powell, he's he's stuck in a very uh, rock and a hard place, man, and I think that he's going to do a 25 basis point hike. Anything else I think is going to shock the market to the upside or downside. No rate hike is good, but what would no rate hike do to inflation? Is it going to stop the progress? Because if we don't hike uh, the interest rates, it might be we might see some gains for the next week or so. But when the next inflation rate comes out, the next CPI release comes out, if it ticks back up, if inflation ticks back up to 6.2, 6.3%, oh man, what kind of problems could that cause? Uh, I, I really do think he's in a, a rock and a hard place, man. If he raises rates 25 basis points, banks might tank back down because they can't bear the stress of another quarter percent hike. It's going to be tough, dude. Hey man, that brother, I wake up every morning, check my wallet, check it out, which, uh, check out which three years ago it's spending on lottery or sports betting on FanDuel. There you go. And crypto, you know, crypto con, man. Uh, a crypto con el Raul Valdez Reyes. You're right, man. You're right. And, and I've never been one to bet on sports or anything like that. I, I know, literally know nothing about sports. So it would, it would just be me, me wasting money. But when you bet on a sport like that, it's done. It's done and over with. Right. As soon as you win or lose, it is gone, man. You have no more excitement with it. Yeah, these meme coins, dude. And I'm not saying, you know, get addicted to buying meme coins where you got to check them out. But isn't that why people buy lottery tickets in the first place? Is to just have that brief moment of, man, what if I won? You don't actually expect to win the lottery. You don't actually expect to walk away with a million dollars. You don't actually expect it to happen. You, you understand the odds. But it's just fun for that evening before the, you know, the two, three hours before they pull those lottery numbers, you can sit there and think, dang, dude, if I win this, I can, I can get a new house. If I win this, I can pay off my house. If I win this, I can go out there and I can take a vacation. If I win this, you've got that little bit of hope. And hey, meme coins, dude, they can bring you that every day if you're if you're not willing to invest more than you're willing to lose. You, you know, you can have fun with a dollar. Dollar turn into a, into twenty dollars is amazing, dude. So it's possible. All American, thank you very much for this super chat. Anybody know what time it is? It's time to get hard, <laughs> like a diamond. All American Breaker, thank you very much for the super chat. Anybody else hardly get diamond out there? Because I am. Hey, is the Luke Dash site pretty accurate on the burnt supply numbers? If so, Luke to ascent in only three hundred years. Yeah, it, it is, man. It, it is accurate on how much Terra Luna Classic has been burned. Three hundred years, though. I think that you are are using, you know, the current. Price, like the current market cap with how much we would need to burn to take it to a penny. Of course, you know, that's only burns doing the job. That is nothing else and no increase in value during another bull market. So that's what that part leaves out, but that is correct. That's the time frame it would take to keep the same market cap but burning the supply down to reach that penny mark. I expect to win when I buy a lottery ticket. So when I don't win, I throw a tantrum and stuff starts to break. Oh, God. R roulette wheel. Maybe you shouldn't buy, like, meme coins then, dude. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't buy meme coins because I uh, it might not be for you. 
Guys, it is 20,000 precious metals. I sell some once in a while to buy crypto. Roulette wheel, man. There you go, dude. There you go. And uh, I think that that's probably a safer bet for you. If you're throwing tantrums when you don't win the lottery, you're probably better off buying gold and silver, man. Because it, is, it is, is much more stable. It is fun and gives us soap. But only if I win. Yeah, and then afterwards, it's no good, man. The good thing with meme coins is you've always got that chance. Guys, it is past 1 o'clock. Get your names in the chat right now. We're going to do some shout-outs. We will be back later. Appreciate every single one of you guys for being in here, man. Thank you very much for keeping the chat awesome, keeping it going. If I do open back up around 2.30 to watch the uh, Jerome Powell and his Federal Reserve Conference there, I don't know if I'll be on screen, but if you guys want to listen to it, I might set it up so that you can listen to it that way. Nonetheless, appreciate all you guys, man. Dark Bro, shout out to you. Sky Stonify, Ryan, man. Enjoy your day. Shrill Carter, see you later. Sky Stonify, All American Breakers, Roulette Wheel, Lonnie, enjoy it, man. Sky Stonify, Ryan, see you later. Tony D, All American Breakers, Lucky Stones, Gorilla Invictus, the franchise, Old Rounder Bro. Bob, bye bye, Bob. See you later, Tony D, Roulette Wheel, Stuart, man. Enjoy your afternoon. Al Pacino, DD214, All American Breakers, Al Pacino, absolutely. SD, Nick F, we get Stephanie, bro. All of you guys. I don't know if uh, Pat, Pat, if you're still in here, man. Shout out to you. Thank you very much today toodles to you kai we've got al pacino uh mr palomino all of you guys you know what time it is shrill carter you want to say it with me say it with me ryan till the next time hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day